Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be going through my crystal babies. If you're into spirituality, you already know what these are. If you don't know, these are crystals and they all have their own different properties. I do have some crystals here that I actually don't know their names <laughs> because I am notorious for going crystal shopping, picking out the ones that I know that I want and then taking them home, putting them around, and then I forget what their names are. So yeah, in this video, I will just be discussing the crystals that I know and that I have in my house. This is gonna be something way different than the other videos that I've posted. If you're interested in seeing my crystals, getting to know my crystals, and maybe finding some that you can go pick up yourself and keep on watching. I am a mother of 60 something children. I have lost count at this point. I do have a pouch here that I keep in my purse. I just keep crystals that I have duplicates of. For example, I keep this candle quartz amethyst i don't know the name of this one but i already have another one in my house i keep jade i keep a rose quartz and then i keep this other one this is a long name apophyllite apophyllite i don't know and i carry these around with me daily so let's start off with citrine this is raw and this one attracts abundance success and it's really good for manifestation. I picked this one up because I'm like, I need this energy in my life. It relieves fear and anxiety and you know, I got all of the above. The next one that I'm going to show you is called Pyrite. This one shields negativity and it's really good for your aura. Ignore my crusty nails as well. Now the place that I go to get these crystals, they actually come with papers that explain a little bit about crystals an excellent shield stone pyrite removes negativity from the aura to help one concentrate great for students and all who have focus oriented tasks pyrite helps one to align their energies with the earth thereby stimulating creativity mental abilities ambition and persistence and it's wonderful stone to use in wealth attraction and assisting in manifestation the next one is emerald now, this is a love stone Emerald is a stone of love and romance. It brings and enhances joy, cleansing, clairvoyance, memory, and faith. It also benefits intuition and communication as well as promotes truthfulness. So you already know I needed that. The next love stone that I have is my rose quartz. And I actually have a couple. So I have this big one, this one is raw. I also have these two tumbled rose quartz. Rose Quartz is pretty much used for healing, self-love, friendship, anything to do with love, healing of the heart. So if you're going through a breakup, I highly recommend using Rose Quartz, sleeping with Rose Quartz, carrying it around. Now, as you can see back here, this is a selenite candle holder that I got from, once again, if you watched my last video, Winners. It was like 14 bucks, which I also use in my tarot readings. I have a heart-shaped selenite right here and then i have my selenite stick this was one of the first crystals that i believe i actually bought selenite is really good for cleansing this is like the ultimate cleansing crystal and it's really good for any kind of spiritual work that you do and it raises your vibration and everything so i would suggest if you need to cleanse yourself i would highly recommend getting a selenite crystal this crystal cleanses other crystals, so you don't even need sage if you need to cleanse yourself or cleanse your other crystals. The next crystal that I wanna show you guys is my snow quartz. So beautiful. This is another cleansing stone. It also brings awareness. So if you're into like clairvoyance or anything with the third eye, this is another good one. And it has a strong connection to the crown chakra. So this is the chakra above the third eye. I love having this one when I do my tarot readings. I love this one. It's Fadden, I think, Faden, the Faden Quartz. 
This one is also another one that enhances your telepathic abilities. It's good for getting insight. And it's also another good crystal for meditation. I personally don't meditate, but I like to keep this in my room. I'm also into dreams. So I like to keep a lot of crystals in my rooms that are connected to the third eye and the crown chakra because I like to interpret my dreams and I'm really good at remembering. The next one that I got, and I got two of these because I felt like I needed to keep one in my house, but I keep both. I was gonna put one in that little bag, but I didn't. This is Iolite. This is another good one that enhances psychic abilities. Your connection with your angels is another thing that it is working with. And it's good for clairvoyance and your imagination. So everything with the mind. And it's connected to the third eye chakra. I actually went to buy this one and then I forgot to purchase it. So when I went back, I went and got another one. <laughs> I'm terrible with that. I'm terrible with buying more than one crystal. I go in for one crystal, I come out with 30. Sardonyx. Now, I want to say that this is that. Don't ask me why I got two. I'm pretty sure this is Sardonyx. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure this is Sardonyx. If it's not, then whoops. It's really good with integrity, happiness, and courage. That's what it promotes. And it brings stability into relationships. For some reason, I, want, I wanted this one, but then I also wanted this one. I couldn't figure out why I wanted both of them. So I just purchased both. I have a couple, it's Tiger's Eye. This one was a gift. I feel like this is red Tiger's Eye, but yeah, cause it's not really like the yellow. It's a protection stone, it brings mental clarity and it's also a healing stone. It's a very grounding stone as well. And it brings things into perspective. So if you sleep with this, or if you put this on your third eye, you will get clarity on whatever situation that you are inquiring your angels about. Like, this is just so pretty. I keep this one in my living room near my tarot decks. Lapis Lazuli. I actually just recently got one of these. Everybody and they mama has this crystal. This one is good for finding the truth, revealing the truth, transformation and enlightenment. The next one that I also recently got, I feel like I have two, but this is my petrified wood. This is my favorite one. This is my candle quartz. This is the one that I specifically use in my tarot readings because it's just that powerful this candle quartz when i went and purchased it from my witch market she told me that this is a really good one for reading tarot because it you're just in tune and it brings that awareness to you it's a light bringer for the planet and it's really good for past life recall recalling of the past lives and it helps heal inner childhood trauma I love this one and this is one that I carry with me as well in my little baggie <laughs> I carry it in here I don't know why it's probably too powerful to be carrying around everywhere anything dealing with your past life this will give you that clarity but I do keep my candle quartz in here the lady that sold me the crystal actually had it on display like this and i really loved it it's an antique and i keep my candle cords in there in my bedroom this is another one that i picked up specifically for its psychic enhancing qualities it cleanses the aura field and it's the master healer apparently like this is the ultimate healing crystal
it aligns all the chakras the next one that I specifically got as well for my dreams is my blue appetite now when I put this under my pillow the dreams that I have are intense they're crazy I love this crystal yeah I use this one for my dreams I have a couple moonstones, but Lord, here we go. I'm pretty sure this is a moonstone. See, this is one I've had it for so long, I don't even know what it is anymore. But these are the moonstones that I have. This is my smoky moonstone. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I think this one is my Indian moonstone, but correct me if I am wrong. These ones right over here, I'm not sure exactly what they are. This is my Smoky Quartz. Recently just got, this is my newest baby. And this is just a regular quartz that I also recently just got. Well, I know I might butcher this one, but we got my Apache, Apache Tear. another one that everyone knows it's for protection it's for grounding banishing negative energy my black tourmaline so this one is really good to keep around you and to really just carry with you because it gets rid of that negative energy and negative people in general might as well go with my obsidian I'll show that next I'm pretty sure this one is obsidian as well yeah, we got my obsidian here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How light. If this is blurry, I apologize, guys. This one strengthens your memory and is a very calming stone. So if you need to calm yourself, get you some how lights. We got the blue lace agate right here. This is another beautiful stone. This one is specifically for your throat chakra, so if you need to watch your mouth, this is one that you should get. And it relieves anger as well. So if you're angry and your mouth is reckless like mine, <laughs> invest in some blue lace agate. Next, we have bronzite where are you my sweetie where is it <laughs> bronzite she's missing hold up because i literally okay well we don't got time for this the next one <laughs> my blue calcite This one promotes relaxation and also enhances the third eye. This is another good one to have when you're reading tarot or doing any kind of psychic work or telepathic work. All right, then we got the tree agate. I love this one. This one is a good protector against energy vampires and is good for any kind of earth magic or good for earth witches. And they say if you put this one in a plant, in a potted plant, it will grow. It looks like a moon, kind of. That's the whole reason why I got it. When I purchase crystals, I try to go for ones that have a unique shape. I also try to get the biggest ones, but if I can't, I like to get ones that have unique shapes and that just look different. Anything like that is what I'm going for. Like this one looks like, you know those weapon things with the stick and you can stab people? That's what this one reminded me of. So I'm always going for crystals that have a distinct shape and that look really cool and look different. There is the bronzite right in front of my face. So bronzite, this one promotes peace and forgiveness and compassion. 
and it also cleanses negativity. Ooh. Aventuring. This one is linked to the heart chakra. And it's also a really good luck stone and it's an all around healing stone. So it heals everything. My zebra jaspers, I could not choose between one, so I got both of them. These ones are linked to the root chakra. They uplift your energy and they're grounding stones as well. And they also ward off negative energy. And I kid you not, when you come into my home, you could have like the worst day of your life. The moment you step into my home, everything is just better. The moment you step a foot in my house, all that negativity is gone, I swear to God. I have come home, headaches, I'm stressed out, all that good stuff. The moment I'm in here for like five minutes, it's gone and I feel happy. So I really recommend investing in crystals. The next one, I think this is aquamarine, but I'm not 100% sure because, you know, when I go crystal hunting, I just, when I shop for crystals, I go crazy. So the one that has the crazy name, apophyllite, apophyllite. This one is very powerful. This is the one that I also keep in my purse. This one is linked to the angel realms. If you want to communicate with your angels and your spirit guides, this is the crystal that you want to get and you want to use. If you want to connect with your spirit guides and your angels, it's another good one to have in your tarot readings. As well. It's also a good one to have when you're maybe trying to astral travel or doing any kind of Reiki healing any kind of spiritual work this is another good one to have and it's so small but yet it's so powerful I'll give some other crystals some light When I bought this, this don't even feel like a rock. I think I got scammed into buying this lavender crystal. I don't think this is a crystal. This don't feel like a rock. It feels like a piece of, I don't even know. Like it don't feel like a rock. I feel like it was painted. I also want to give a shout out to my friend Isabel. She gave me this crystal. It's a moonstone. She knows that I love crystals. She gave this to me a couple years ago and I haven't worn it yet because I'm just scared that it will fall out or something. I don't want to lose it. So yeah, I just want to give a shout out to her. She knows how much I love crystals and she gave me this gift. So thankful. Another thing that I bought was this little baby jar of amethyst. Thank you guys for coming and watching this weird yet
very informative video that I have recorded for you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And ring that little notification bell to keep yourself posted on when I upload the next video. Thank you for watching.